Temperatures yesterday in Waukesha got to 82. We hit 86 here in Milwaukee, 90 in Kenosha. Now, there were a few spotty thunderstorms to the south of us yesterday late evening. Otherwise, the wind shifted, and boy, did that cooler air start to move in last evening across the area and even drop the humidity just a little bit. Felt pretty good. Now, while the dew points have dropped and so have the temperatures, it's still damp outside. The dew points have dropped from the lower 70s to the lower 60s, lower 60s and that is significant. But with temperatures close to that, you're seeing that fog develop right along the lakefront and that northeast wind also pushing in some of that fog that has been kind of developing out over the lake for the past couple of days as well. Mile and a half visibility in Racine, so that has dropped significantly in the last half hour or so, down to three miles in Burlington, zero in Beaver Dam, and four miles in West Bend. So as you see, there is some areas of patchy fog around the area. Temperatures about five to ten degrees cooler than they have in the past two mornings. Doesn't seem like a lot, but if you don't have AC, you're saying, ah, oh, thank you. Ryan Lander this morning, 57 degrees. The western part of the state and into Minnesota and Iowa, still upper 60s to lower 70s. This is where the pocket of very steamy air is. It's given us a little bit of a break today, but it will return by tonight and for the weekend. Right now in West Bend, it's 63. It is 62 in Richfield, Slinger, and Hartford both at 61 degrees this morning, so much more comfortable than it has been. Once again, we're seeing those dew points in the 50s and lower 60s, which is a little bit of a break from what we were seeing. That steamier, though, is just to the west of us, and that'll be making its way back in here later tonight. And for the weekend, it will be very sticky around here for tomorrow and Sunday. Monday, a little bit of an improvement as the cold front gets ready to push on through. And then finally, Tuesday, we break the humidity and that dry Canadian air moves in. With a light east to northeast wind today, lower to mid-70s along the lakefront. How about a high of 71 in Racine, 73 in Sockville, and upper 70s to lower 80s in Waukesha. So a little bit of a refreshing day before the heat humidity return for the weekend. We'll see a, just a pop up shower possible later today, about a 10% chance of that happening. And once again, tomorrow afternoon, about a 10% chance of a shower. Otherwise, Sunday is dry and Monday is the day for rain as you have that cold front getting closer to us. So here's a seven day forecast today, 77 lower 80s inland, 86 with a spotty shower uh, tomorrow afternoon. Once again, if you see some rain, it lasts hardly at less than 10 minutes and it's very light. Don't cancel any plans. 88 on Sunday, very humid. Monday thunderstorms are likely in 81. Tuesday showers in 76. And then it gets cool. 68 by Thursday. Tatiana.